Using DB schema, you can work more effective with the databases. DB schema uses diagrams, also called layouts, to represent the database tables, columns, and foreign keys. The tables can be edited directly in the layout, and the changes will be applied also in the database. For a better understanding of the schema, multiple layouts can be created, one for each module of the schema. The layouts will be saved in a project file and will be reopened on the next restart of the application. Working with layouts may help you improve the database design and document the schema. With DB Schema you have access to three major editors which may facilitate the access to the data. Data editors, also called the Relational Data Browse, SQL Editor and Query Builder. These editors can be started directly from the layout by simply clicking on a table header. Using the Relational Data Browse, you can browse data from multiple tables at a time. For each table, you can descend into further tables based on a foreign key between the tables. The child table will show the record corresponding to the record in the parent table. In some situation, you may consider creating virtual foreign keys in the layout. The data browse can be also used to insert new records in the tables. Data browse will be saved in the project file together with the layout and will be available next time when you restart the application. The next editor, the Visual Query Builder, may help you in building queries from simple to complex using different join conditions like left out of join or exists. It can also create queries using group by or different work conditions. If you still need to write text SQL queries, the SQL editor may do the job. It features test auto completion, execution of queries as a single query or script. If you are working in a development team or if you are an administrator, you may face the requirement to deploy the development schema over the production database. This is possible as you can connect to different databases and compare the internal DB schema image of the schema with the schema from the database. You can take different actions like create the schema in the database, refresh the schema in the local project, apply the schema differences in the database, or generate the schema migration script. I hope my presentation made you interested in trying DB Schema. I wish you a nice time using it.